This week on Sail Away, we weigh anchor and head for Karyaku for some festivities. And encounter some stormy weather on the way. <laughs> you gonna take the camera I'm gonna take this nice camera downstairs. Oh, okay. But once we're there, we get to take part in a very untraditional Thanksgiving feast. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Hey, promise me that we'll sail away. Now we're roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. And I'll be yours forevermore. Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. After six months of being in Grenada, when we only expected it to be about three, the sun was finally setting on our time there. But we still had one big holiday coming up, and with this being our first Thanksgiving on the boat and away from family, we weren't totally sure how everything would work out. Seven thirty, and tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yeah, dramatic pause. That was good. I like the dramatic pause. So what we got to do today? Leave. <laughs> if only it was so simple. <laughs> yeah. We have to pull up an anchor because we got two out. So we haven't told the people about our two anchor system here. Yeah. So. Prickly Bay can be really, really rolly, and not just, you know, not just for us. I think we're probably a moderate rolly boat. It's really bright out. And I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It just makes life extremely unenjoyable. So we have tried the bridle from our main anchor road back to the stern in a few different situations, and I found that unless the wind stays at just a perfect uh, speed, our boat just does not do that well with it. So the other option is throwing out a stern anchor, and that's what we did this time. You know, we've got our primary anchor up front, and then we've got our secondary anchor. Basically, we just brought it around here, tied it off, and I dropped it out there somewhere about, yeah, probably about halfway between here and that boat. With just a few adjustments here and there, it has been amazing. So basically, I just kind of pulled our stern into the swell just a little bit, so it's always kind of hitting us just a little at an angle. That's all it takes. As soon as you do that, man, the boat just levels right out. And we've been anchored here for about two weeks now. Downside is we got two anchors to pull up, and they're going to be dirty. Anchors cleaned and safely stowed away, it was finally time to get out of Dodge. Leaving! Yay! It's always, it's always nice to leave and it's always so much freaking work. Uh. Gotta move her home. Yeah. <laughs> the sailing is not the hard part. So, let's catch some fish for our Thanksgiving. I don't think we're gonna catch any good fish. 
You don't? Why not? I don't know. We'll see about that, sir. Uh, yeah, we got a new dolphin. Oh, they call this one the dolphin rig. Dolphin rig. Not the dolphin delight. No, it works as well as our dolphin delight. Because that's the one that's always yeah. brought us luck. So, I want, I want, we'll see. I want to call it the Orange Opti. The Orange Opti? All right, here's All right. the Orange Opti going orange in the water. Opti. Come on, Thanksgiving dinner. Okay. Right. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Eric made a hand rig holders. Got a nice quick clip there. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come on, you just fishy, uh, loop fishy. it through itself around any stanchion on your boat. Come on, Clip it on. Not them yet. I'm gonna try and go right out here to where the, the drop off is. A lot of times that's where the fishes are because they're swimming up. And they get to that spot and then they have to go up. So then there's just a lot more fish here than there are in other places. Or so I've read. Need some fish for Thanksgiving. Rippers, did we catch anything yet? No. You jinxed us by saying we weren't going to catch anything. We just knew. Back then, we never catch anything along this coast for some reason. We were flying and now it's uh, kind of died. But now, it's Thanksgiving time. We're in slow crampers. We got a potluck tomorrow. Yeah. Sugar, water, and cranberries. Perfect. Secret family recipe. It's so easy, but it's like it's too easy, so I can't remember it. Cup of sugar, cup of water, boil it, put it in the cranberries. Then simmer them for like 10 minutes till they all pop. And mush them up together, put them in the fridge. 
Good morning. Good morning. We're here. And we're discussing Thanksgiving. Because it is Thanksgiving. And that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're at Karyuku. It was, uh, we are at Karyuku. That's right. To our right, our port side is Sandy Island. Well, anyway, here we are. Cranberries came out great. Tried them out this morning. Lauren kind of rolls her eyes. She doesn't like cranberries that much. I love freaking cranberries. Mmm, it's so good. My favorite Thanksgiving thing we I don't get to have this year. And that's the oysters. The baked oysters. Old school, Midwestern style. Usually that's my contribution to my family Thanksgiving, but things are different now. So you, you rolled your eyes at both my cranberries and my oysters. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dish? Apple pie and brie. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> That's now, it. The brie is definitely not a traditional Thanksgiving. <laughs> you hate the entire institution of Thanksgiving. Yeah, I don't really like turkey that much. <laughs> I don't. I like mashed potatoes a lot. Yeah. Um, I like stuffing. It's all right. <laughs> um, Blasphemer. Yeah, no. Thanksgiving's never been my my jam, really. But like, you I like, jam. yeah, I like cooking, so <laughs> I, think I get more excited for that. At the turkey now. is never my favorite part either. And I, I hate ham, so yeah. I like gravy. So you like mashed potatoes and gravy? I like all the carbs and some brie. I just like eating all day and like and the drinking. Some apple pie. I wish we had some mimosas. <laughs> mimosas are a, a good Thanksgiving morning thing. So I can't tell if you're feeling nostalgic for home Thanksgiving or the opposite. I'm feeling nostalgic for the things that I can't have. Yeah. Like, I just want to make the food that I want. Easily. <laughs> and it's really hard to do here. Right. Well, we're going to have a lot to choose from over on that island today, I think. So at least there's that. So we mentioned mimosas and yeah. immediately thought, yeah, we should probably be drinking. This is a holiday. This is after we decided we are not taking the dinghy around to the grocery and we are not gonna move the boat over to the other anchorage. Point is we're not handling the boat. So it's time for our version of mimosas when you don't have champagne. And that's basically just a screwdriver. This will hopefully help my land nostalgia. Cause I think that's mostly what it is. Do a skull, you may want to. Oh my god. That was an extreme close up. Sorry, folks. <laughs> That's a long tradition right there. Now, Rivers and I are going to go take the dog to shore. This is a pretty common problem on a sailboat. And living kind of off the grid, we went to the grocery store before we knew we were going to a potluck. So we didn't actually buy enough of any one thing to make to share with what's looking like it's going to be a lot of boats eric was able to go back to the store at one point and bought more cranberries because he loves cranberries um but we didn't get enough of anything else and so now it is 11 o'clock the um the potluck is at one and I'm struggling to come up with enough food for to, to bring to a potluck. So I've gone through all of our stores trying to find things that maybe I could make into something. It's definitely not going to be probably very thanksgiving -y. I think what I have come up with that I can do is we've had this coconut flakes um, for a while and I'm not really a big coconut fan. So <sighs> make some coconut macaroons and you only need like five ingredients. One of those ingredients is sweetened condensed milk. Well, we don't have sweetened condensed milk. What we do have is evaporated milk, which Google is my best friend here. We can make into sweetened condensed milk. That's what you have to do when you live on a boat. You just have to make changes and figure it out and make it work 
So you find out a lot of things that you can substitute and you find a lot of different ways to do things and sometimes you get macaroons for Thanksgiving potluck. And that's just the sailing life and hopefully everybody's okay with that. And if not, uh, they don't have to know it came from me. It's gonna be alright. My condensed milk creation maybe made it a little too runny. Yeah, they're, they're really heavy. So, like a bar. Alright, cool. So nice! Hello! Turkeys are not a big thing in the Caribbean, but the lobsters are. Getting the first bite? Go get your own. <laughs> All right, well, we'll stand here and watch you finish the whole thing. <laughs> that is a bite. Yeah! Went for it. Good? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, finish it. Whoa. <laughs> So we started this day being a little bit down that we weren't able to spend a traditional Thanksgiving with our families. Much like a lot of families this year. But at the end of the day, we found ourselves on this beautiful, uninhabited, tiny little island, laughing and having fun with friends from all over the world, celebrating a very untraditional Thanksgiving, and finding ourselves very, very thankful.